In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. He said, whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. He didn't say anymore. Well, this is it. What a nice house, and your cousin lives right down the road. Yeah, that's nice. And Daisy's house is just down the road, right? Yeah, it's number 35. Well, let's start unpacking. You really should go see Daisy. She's been dying to see you. Okay, I'll just go get changed. Alrighty. <laughs> hey, is Daisy here? Yes, yeah, she is. Come on in. Nick, I'm so happy you're here. How's your house so far? It's good. This is a very quiet and nice neighborhood. <laughs> it won't be for long. Your neighbor is about to have one of his weekly parties. His name is Jay. Jay Gatsby. Gatsby? I've heard of him. A party? Sounds fun. We should all go. We should go see this Jay. Good luck. You'll never be able to find him. He throws these big parties every weekend and nobody actually knows what he looks like. Well, that may not be true. It is. I heard his family died in a tragic accident that left him all alone in that big house. Yeah, all alone with his maids, butlers, and millions of dollars. Oh, Tom, stop. I feel bad for him. Well, I don't. Oh, Nick, I forgot to introduce you to everyone. This sad boy over here is my boyfriend, Tom, and this is Jordane. I've known her forever. Hello, everyone. I'm Daisy's cousin, Nick. Well, Nick, I'll go get you a drink. Okay, thanks. So have you ever been to one of Jay's parties? Once. It was rather extravagant. You know, he used to go to school with us before his parents died, but I guess he got depressed or something. Mm, I see. Sometimes people stand outside of his house waiting to get a glimpse of him, but he hides behind the tinted windows of his fancy yellow car. Well, I don't understand. Why do some people just treat him like an animal in a cage? I guess it's because of all the money he has, you know, the local newspapers write a lot about him and his money, and he brings in something like $900,000 a week from his family. Would you like another drink, Nick? No, I'm good. I actually should probably head home. Oh, that's too bad. I'd really like to see you again soon. Yeah, of course. I live right down the road. Well, thank you, Daisy, for having me. It was a pleasure meeting you all. Hey, don't let Gatsby's party keep you awake all night. I suggest getting some headphones. Okay, well, thanks. See you guys later. Nick, I'm super bored. Let's do something. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Uh, it's an invitation Jay gave me to one of his parties tonight. Perfect, let's go. I don't know. Put on your shoes, we're going. Okay, come inside, I'm just gonna get changed. So, do you think we have to pay? Oh, don't be silly, Nick. Jay is a millionaire. He supplies all the food, all the drink, and all the entertainment. Nobody has to pay. But do we get to see Jay? Are you crazy? No one even knows what he looks like. Some people say he got plastic surgery, so anyone who knew him before can't even recognize him now. Do you know where to find Gatsby? 
Excuse me. Do you know where to find Gatsby? Well, I don't know where he is, but I heard he killed a man one time. I heard he has this powder ring. He wears it all the time, but I don't know why. Nick, do you see that girl over there? She's the girl that Tom has been messing around with. D does Daisy know about her? Yeah. Then why doesn't she do something about it? She's too scared, I guess. Well, someone should do something. That's ridiculous. Nick, let's go find Gatsby. <laughs> Jordan, you can go on ahead without me. I just got a time issue. <clears throat> Are you enjoying the party, old sport? Yeah, it's quite fun. I'm here actually with my friend Jordan. I was invited by the host. Um, his name's Jay. Jay Gatsby, I think. Haven't met him yet, though. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid I haven't been a good host then. My name is Jay. Jay Gatsby. Wow. Um. Thank you so much for the invitation, by the way. No worries. I, I live right beside you. I saw you with that girl, uh, what's her name? Oh, Daisy, yeah, she just lives right over there. You know, she's really nice, and... Jay? Jay? Hello? Nick, you'll never believe what just happened. What? I talked to Jay. You did? It's weird. So did I. I didn't realize this, but I've met him before. A few summers ago, he was with Daisy. He told me to ask you to invite him and Daisy over for lunch. He said to call him. His number is on the back of the letter he gave you. Do you have it with uh, you? Yeah, just let me grab it. Okay. I've got to go, Nick. I'll talk to you later. Good luck. All right, bye. Hey Jay, this is Nick, your neighbor. Nick, just the guy I wanted to talk to. Sorry I left you in the backyard. I had some business I had to take care of. Oh, that's quite all right. I wanted to ask you a favor. Are you sure she's coming? It's past one. Yeah, she'll be here, man. Just, just give her a little time. She's now. You know what? I don't like what I'm wearing. You look fine. What no, do you mean? No, I gotta change, okay? I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't be silly, Jay.
Hey Nick, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Mmm, something smells really good in here. Yeah, I uh, had someone help me with that. Oh yeah? From who? He's in the kitchen, I'll show you. Your imaginary friend? He was just here, I swear. I'll go get that. You can go sit at the table if you like. Okay. Oh, sorry old sport. I told you I had to go get change. Is she here? Yeah, she's in the kitchen. Don't be shy. Go say hello. It certainly has been a while, hasn't it, Jay? It sure has been. I'm certainly glad to see you. I'm certainly glad to see you, too. They looked at each other like I've never seen before. Their smiles lit up the room. They saw each other many more times throughout the summer. They spent days at Jay's house and days at Daisy's house. I know this because they asked me to hang out with them most of the time. I felt within but without. They managed to stay away from Daisy's boyfriend, Tom. They hid from him. But I had this feeling that something bad was going to happen. Something tragic. Daisy! Oh no. How dare you be dancing with him? He's a coward, let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you, Tom. Don't touch her. Oh, how cute. I'm not going with you, Tom. Daisy, you come with me if you know what's good for you. She doesn't love you anymore, old sport. She loves me. You shouldn't be saying anything, Tom. We know you're always off with that little myrtle girl. Yeah, maybe, but at least I always come back. Whoa. You're repulsive, Tom. I think you should leave. Guards! <laughs> yeah, sure, get your guards to take care of your dirty business. This isn't over, Jay. I'll finish you. Oh, hey, old sport. Hey, Jay. Are you not worried? About what? Tom? Nah. What's he gonna do? Kill me? I don't think so. Daisy doesn't want to be with him, so I'm not worried about anything. I mean, I guess you're right, but I don't know. I still have a funny feeling about it. Don't worry about it, Nick. It'll be okay. Ugh. Hey, do you want to go swimming? Nah, it's, it's okay. I gotta work in the morning, so I should probably go. Alright, makes sense. Hey, I was gonna ask Daisy to marry me. What oh, do you really? think about that? Well, what are you gonna ask her? Uh, I was thinking tomorrow morning. Well, good luck with that, Jay. Thanks, man. Good night. Alright, good night. something important. Okay. I'll be over in a half an hour, okay? Sounds good. See you then. Out of all the people that came to Jay's parties, the only people at his funeral were Daisy, Jordan, and myself. We missed him dearly. All this time, I still felt within and without of Jay's life. Jay believed in the orgastic future, that year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms farther. So we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly to the past.